Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to go over Next Term and get it installed on Portainer. So I'm going to go over it from start to finish. So at the end of this tutorial, you should have a fully working version of Next Term on Portainer. So a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today, next term. It's open source server management software for SSH, VNC, and RDP. It makes it to where you can keep all your different servers in this database and folders and then click the server and then go into it with SSH. Um, you can switch between the ta uh, tabs and different servers, easy. Um, it is in preview and that basically means it's in beta. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this installed on Portainer today. So I'm going to be starting on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. Um, I like to go in my, in, in, into my videos and show people how the Docker Compose works, and hopefully they learn from it, and you can be able to create your own Docker comp Composes too. Um, so I'm going to go over the search and type next term, and then so how to install next term on Portainer. And then I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So services up above, and then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Next Term. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Next Term. And this is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. The image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then the, uh, the container restart policy is set to unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then volumes down here. So this is so you can uh, be able to keep track of all the files that are on the container in the host. So you can change files on the host and then it will sync in the cont container. And this makes it to where uh, the a cont container is uh, ke ke keeping track of data and you can back it up on the host instead of uh, being it stateless to where it doesn't have any way to actually create data inside of the container when you restart the container. Um, so the port map is 6989 and that's on the host side and then on the container side is 6989. Do not change the container side. You can change the host side if this does cloud with another port on your host. Um, so networks down here, so Big Bear Next Term and that's defined right here. And then the volume up, up here is defined down here. So I'm going to go over here to copy your all file. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go over to my portainer and go to stacks and put this in and get it up and running. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my portainer and I'm going to go to local and then stacks and then add stack up here. And then I'm going to name the stack next term. Um, so stacks are just Docker compose. So it's just the name in portainer. Um, so it'll be using the Docker engine uh, underneath. Um, so now I'm going to go in the web editor and I'm going to paste in the Docker compose that I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. Then once we do that, we're going to come down here to deploy the stack. I'm going to click it. So now it's up and running, and um, now you can go in here, and you can go in the container, and then you can see the logs, and you can see it is listening on 6989. So you should be able to go to that in the UI and get to it. 
So now I'm going to go over the portainer. So I'm going to go into local stacks and then now I'm going to go in the stack. So up here you have stacked where you can see the stack details and the action. So stop the stack, delete the stack, create input from the stack, stack duplication slash migration, and then the containers in the stack down here and access control. Now, this is a really handy feature. You go over the editor right here, and you can edit the Docker and Pose, and then you can press update the stack. Now, what this does is it repulls the image off the registry and gets extracted and gets it redeployed when you check mark this, and then you press update. This would be good if you have a latest tag instead of a static tag. Um, so you can see the cont containers right here, so you can and you can see the actions on the container. So start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate, so edit. The container status down here. So name, status, cr uh, created, start time. The logs down here, this is great for debugging. And inspect, stats, console, attach, access, control, and then create image. And then the container details, like the image, the port configuration on the host side, and then on the container side, um, so the command, the entry point, the environment variables, and then the labels down here, and then restart policy, but I would ch change this in your Docker Compose, and then volumes down here, and then connected networks. So it created a bridge network down here. So if you wanted to change the restart policy, you, you'd go back to stacks and go in there and go editor, and then you can come down here to restart and change it right here. And then you press the update the stack. So that's a little bit about the Portainer's UI. So now I'm going to go to the UI. So um, I'm going to go to the Portainer's IP and then 6989, which is the host port. So I'm going to go to it. And now it's going to have you register. So I'm going to say, and then... Here, and then I'm going to just put a username in and then I'm going to put a password in and then I'm going to say register. So now we're registered and we're in the UI. So now what this does is it collects the servers and it makes it to where you can put um, different uh, pa packages from the app store in it. So a get T and then my, my speed next term and then up time Kuma. Um, so you can deploy these to uh, two different ser servers that you have in here. So um, you can right click and you can create a folder. So testing. And then I'm gonna right click again and you can create a folder, delete a folder, I rename and create server and then import a PVE. I'm gonna create a server. So I'm gonna say the server name is testing server. And then I'm gonna put the server's IP address in and then um, I'm going to go to identities and root and then the password. And then um, this is not implemented yet. The identities, you can switch between password and key file. Um, so I think that cleared out the password. And then um, once that happens, you can say create. And now you can double click and go to the server. And not, now you're in the server. So um, you can see it's running Docker. Um, so if we go over to the packages right here, you can have uh, cat categories, and when this app store grows, you can click between the categories. Um, so you can come down here, and you can say deploy, and then you can deploy to the testing server right here. Click it, and then um, now you can see it's deploying over here. So um, you can also see the logs and what it's done, and then you can open it up over here. So this is running on the testing server now. So we can go backwards and then um, you can go over here to the server and go to the testing server. And then now I'm gonna say Docker um, PS. And then you can see that it is running. So it installed it uh, on that testing server, the one that's over here. So this makes it where you can keep track of all the servers and the UI over here. Um, so you can go to settings right here and you can go, go to your account. You can change your first name, a last name, put two factor authentication in, and then you can change your password down here. You can also see the sessions 
and the users and you can create a new user and then you can come over here and you can change your current password so that's a little bit about how next term works so i just went over start to finish on getting next term working on portainer so you should have it fully working by now and always remember that this is in preview right now so you can follow along the progress on github um, so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.